Today, the U.S. dollar has slightly recovered ahead of the October FOMC meeting minutes release. After the third consecutive rate cut in October, traders are hoping to receive some clues about the future of the monetary policy. Analysts believe that the regulator will take a break in interest rate cuts and keep it unchanged at the level of 1.75 percent. Yesterday, Donald Trump and Fed Chairman Jerome Powell had a discussion about negative rates, low inflation and monetary easing. Market participants were quite concerned amid such news. Against this background, the euro traders are still setting the tone. In the previous session, the euro dollar pair managed to gain ground, hitting the area of 1.1070 1.1090. Today, the quote is consolidating in the same range. However, it failed to move higher due to strong resistance near 1.1080. In addition to the data from the Fed, investors are closely following the news on the US-China trade deal. The recent SNBC's report revealed that Bergen was pessimistic about the prospects of a deal. Market sentiment lowered even more amid such news. Meanwhile, the single currency advanced after the news that some Brexit issue had been resolved. At the same time, the pound sterling turned out to be more vulnerable to the news regarding trade uncertainty between Washington and Bergen, but failed to gain favor among buyers. Gold has hit a new weekly high amid risk aversion. However, the price was unable to consolidate there and started to pull back from the resistance level at $1,475 per three ounce. Today it's trading at $1,465. So traders are waiting for the euro to break through the level of 1.1090 in order to open long deals. Moreover, they believe that the pound sterling will recover to its previous values. We continue to keep close steps on the market developments. Stay tuned with us.